Look at this poor young girl is about to see birth from the, for the first time. She's about to be scarred. Yes! Right on the barrel feeder. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Simile here, and today we're jumping into the second episode of the Mile High Zoo franchise mode. And um, I kind of just redid the habitat a little bit. I just added like a little pond and some rocks and more coverage um, down here. And then I added a rubbing pillar in there. And then while I was doing that, Fola conceived offspring. And so I told you guys I knew there'd be babies in this next episode. So she's due in April of year three, and it's currently, oh, it's currently July year two. So we have some time before the babies come. So I think in that time, I'm going to try and build another exhibit. I was thinking like right here, because we still have the warthogs. Because... I changed my mind last episode, so I think we're gonna just put them, like, him right here, and I'm sure that I'll be fine. It is raining so bad right now. In our zoo, but what, what can you do, you know? So I kind of want to keep up. with the wood theme for now. Am I just tripping right now? I swear there was like a curved, maybe since not, maybe since it's wood, you can't curve it. I don't know. That kind of sucks. But oh well. Take that back. Oof, oof. Is that good or is that too long? A little too long. They don't need that much space, I don't think. Um. This is all just temporary. I'm not really planning this through. I know I probably should. But. I don't know. I feel like if I plan it, I'm going to overthink it. And I think it would be better for just flows. So let's see. Let's get our. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Okay. See, like. So I want another warthog, but they only have males on here, unless I'm like... Oh, that's probably why. Let's see if they have any females. Hello? Okay. Perfect. Say some gold ones that I cannot afford. But I'm kind of like in this one. Uh. 
It says this one has low welfare. So once we bring that welfare up, they should be able to mate. That would, what makes sense. I mean, this one's not bad. It's just six point five years old, and let's see. This one is gold in twenty five. What? Okay, yes, please. We'll put you in there. We'll move to there. They should be on their way. Yep. Perfect. Oh my god! She's pregnant! And... You can do that? You can put an animal on the trade market? Oh, it's not big enough. Yikes. You can put an animal on the trade market while they're pregnant? What? That's kind of cool, because then she'll give birth to... Um... Some baby warthogs, and then hopefully she'll um, conceive with the male warthog. I forgot what his name is. And then those babies can then mate, I believe, because it's not... I don't know. Maybe they need to have different moms. Maybe it is still in breeding. I don't know. But um, let's adjust the barrier because I am dumb. And I didn't make it big enough. Hello? Hello? Look at how cute. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Is that better? Oh, that is barely enough. Okay. So let's get more short grass in there. What am I doing? There we go. So I like just to uh, make everything short grass. And then build my way up. For me, that is just easier. Kind of feel bad, though, that this is not even close. I mean, it is big enough. But barely, you know. Let's see if I can maybe extend it out this way. Like, that's not bad. Don't really know if that's gonna make a difference. Ooh, no, we don't want that. Huh. Let's see. Oh! Ooh! I always do that. I'm so used to, like, double-clicking. On... I don't know, animals, I guess, but it's for me, it's in The Sims. Like, I always just double click on my Sims, so when I do it here, they do that weird camera thing, and it's just. It's just no bueno. It scares me every single time. Okay, so this is probably as big as it's gonna get for now. So, I'm just gonna do a. into a quick time-lapse and fix this whole exhibit.
All right, guys, so I'm back. I got my, um, the welfare up to 99%. Look at how cute. I love warthogs. So we have Hondo. And he's the alpha male. And then we have Kasaya. Kesha. Kisiaya. I don't know. I'm so surprised. I got a gold animal. I am stoked. And then her babies are probably going to be really well ranked as well. So I kind of want to compare them. And it's because she's pregnant. Okay. Well. Aww. Look how cute. I'm so excited. So it's December. Oh my god, this goes by so quick. So when is she due? Ooh. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. Give me your money. Give me your money. And then... I forgot we need to put these bad boys. Oh, gosh. On here as well. A speaker to oh no 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 that's gonna be on the warthog warthog and then this bad boy is the warthog as well and then we will move that bad boy down into the ground pretty good yes give me your money see I mean we're not making a lot but I'll take what we can get let's see what can I see what people are thinking so we're killing it on the bongo um I don't want to move her to the warthog for a little bit. And we need to get another keeper. I don't know what I'm doing. Staff. So we have one keeper. Perk. Huh. This is cool. I didn't know you could have perks on those. Let's get another keeper. And... Hmm. Kind of want to get another caretaker as well. And then we need to add another work zone. So we have this one. And... I guess we'll add in all these as well for now. I think I was going to put more staff buildings behind here. Our inspector has arrived. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared. Alright, and then let's name this Wart Hog. Um, I don't know another word that starts with a W. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know. We'll just go with War Hogs. I don't, I'll come up with something better, I promise. 
And then we'll assign you to Warthogs. And you to Warthogs as well. That should be fine. <gasps> okay, we're about to have offspring. Yes! Right on the barrel feeder. Oh, she has little boo-boos. Did it happen? Did it happen? Look at this poor young girl is about to see birth from the, for the first time. She's about to be scarred. Now. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cute! This is just one. Oh, we got two. Three. Oh my. Good job. So let's see. Oh no. That is like kind of creepy, but also really cute at the same time. So we have Adisa. And that's a male. His immunity is whack. Oh my. What are you screaming for? And then... Jafari is... It's not fertile. Alright, so... I don't know if, like, just the fertility and the immunity is low just because they just, like, got popped out of the womb. So, I don't really know what that's about. But this one has some high appeal. So, we have two boys. And then... Which is, like, kind of good because I don't believe you can keep the males once they... Um, mature because they'll start fighting with this guy over here and where's the other one I'm losing my mind hello and I hope they still have enough room yeah they barely have enough room but it is a-okay there was three right I'm not losing my mind oh oh there it is please be a girl and, no wait, I already saw Jafari, right? We already saw Jafari? So we have Jafari. Adisa. Oh, and Hashim. Yeah, so there are three boys, which is like... Okay, I guess. Um, they'll probably all go to the trading market. And they have some decent appeal... So I like that. Interspecies bonus. What do they... Zoopedia. I think that would be a cool one to do next. Like, an uh, animal that has an interspecies. Oh, wow. Okay. That might be the moves. I might make a bigger habitat and have... Like some ostrich in there or, or some springbok like I wonder if the spring like if all these ooh this might be the moves I might make just one big exhibit with maybe like the springbok and the ostrich and the warthogs I think that would be really really cool and awesome but we'll see maybe I'll just do some with like springbok and ostriches Keep it all good. But yay, we got some babies. Our inspectors here. We got five stars on these. Let's see. Our education sucks. But our cleanliness and our habitats are good. So I'm all for that. Except we're losing money. So I don't know what that's about. Ooh. 
perfect. I know there's like a mud bath for warthogs and I kind of really want to um, do research on the warthogs until I get that. Because I think a mud bath is perfect. What? So it said we got something. But I don't see it. I don't know. Huh. So I guess better education? I don't really know. Okay, let's go back to the bongos. They're chilling as well. Look at her. Now she is pregnant. She had me fooled last episode. Do in April. Oh my god, it's April. Ah! Any time now. And like, she has okay stats. His are okay too. He does not have... Oh. I feel like the animals always do their business at like the wrong time, you know? Sorry, what was I saying? They have decent stats. I think their babies will be okay. I kind of lucked out on the warthogs, if I'm being honest. It's May. Oh my gosh, it's happening. I didn't even get a notification. Is it one baby? It is one. Let's see who it is. We have Ju Jabulani. That's another boy. So we just we're popping out boys. Ooh, those are not that good. But it is okay. Oh my gosh, he is so fast. I can't keep up with him. Where do you go? Oh my god, look at him. He just kicked the heck out of that barrel feeder. Oh my god. That makes me so happy, guys. We just got Warthog babies and Bongo babies in one episode. I told you guys there would be babies in this episode. I did not disappoint you guys. I promised. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. And... I really have no idea what I'm going to do for the next one. So if you have any suggestions for what animals you want to see in the zoo, don't be afraid to comment down below. I'll most likely will do any suggestions as long as they're like reasonable because we are broke broke. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.